Might be facetable quality that, maybe. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. In today's video you might notice we have come back to an area I have worked in previous videos and that is why we have come back to this area. I have currently brought my bait pump with me and I have also got my gold trap attachment for my bait pump. So that will allow me to get inside all these cracks and crevices and hunt out all the chunky, juicy heavies that could be locked up in amongst it all. Now, we do have some river gravels in beside this old bridge pile on here. We got some nice looking material in amongst there that might be worthy of a bait pump. And yeah, wish me luck guys. Let's um, get some tools out, get our pan and get to work hitting this nice juicy exposed bedrock. First things first, we are going to pry out some of this material so we can get better access in here. See all this bluish clay that just come out underneath this rock? That is the juiciness I like to look for. Looks like a very battered up piece of uh, quartz crystal. Might take that with us. But ooh, let's have a sneak peek. Not a great deal. Okay, not to worry. That was a bit of a failed attempt. I thought it was going to hold something, but obviously not. Now I have had very good luck working some of these finer bedrock cracks like that. Obviously there's not much material underneath it, but that is sort of what we are looking for. The start of bait pumping this little pocket in the bedrock, you can tell they've concreted basically a pylon into the bedrock, so I figured if any gold's traveling over here, it'll be going down and under the, all this concrete. Well, we pulled this out, so that's a good sign. Nobody recently has been here. And I was going through my screen. We've got a nice big chunk of uh, lead off a tire weight, which is pretty cool. Oh. Oh yeah. That is nice. Probably might be facetable quality that, maybe. We'll have to get Sancho to check it out for us. We will have to put that aside and show him at a later date or send him a photo of it. We found another jemmy stone. Sorry about the truck going overhead. And that's our first stone. So we got two on the board. One speck there. And I'll just wash me ghoulies off the two jemmy stones we got. They are nice. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think they are. If we don't do too well in the gold department, we may just do all right in the gem department. So it is a win-win for me, I guess. Now that we've cleaned out that first pan's worth of material and the water has cleared out a bit. I'll give us a look-see. Oh, hang on. Coming from this angle. 
Yeah, it's hard to see through it. We'll see if we can find some more jemmy stones, I guess, and we'll just take whatever gold comes with it. We'll use one of these uh, old bridge nails to break up some of the material on the bottom. Free up some rocks. Round two. Put this gold trap on and see how much more we can get out of it. Oh yeah, there's a nice deep pocket right there. Full of gravels, oh, nice rusty material. Place your bets, ladies. Oh, we've got some nice heavies in there. Any jemmy stones? Not really. Bring it over here and we'll sort through it. No, it does not look like it, so. Okay, next pan is a little more disappointing. No jemmy stones, but we did manage to get two little pickers. Now, what I think I may do is just go around with the bait pump, hitting all these gravels, because if there are gems in this particular area, they are nice quality gems, and it may be worth just working the gravel deposits. We could move some of this material and just work our way around this uh, concrete here. We could work down in there where my uh, bit of lead fell into. So yeah, let's uh, knuckle down and see what we can get out of it, eh? some of these larger rocks out and oh just lost me first tool we are taking these larger rocks because who knows how big a gem could be gone ahead we've gone through this little section just here but I want to just pry out these uh, hard pack gravels just bait pump that and we'll throw it into this one as well and just see what we can get out of it I don't think we'll get any gold hopefully a nice little jemmy stone though I'll keep panning through this and if we find any excitement in it, yous will be the first to know. Nothing. Oh, one speck of gold. That's all she wrote. Sorry, two specks, one there and one there. I think at this point, I have more or less given up on getting gold. When in doubt, go back to where you found those gems from and you may just find some more. Now, that is a question of, that's probably a piece of agate or something. It looks quite interesting. Not cuttable quality though. That was a little disappointing. We did not even get one speck of gold and we did not get one jemmy stone out of that. So, given the fact that we are at the end of the day and my battery is almost flat on the phone, I will love yous and leave yous, pack up and sign off from here. But 
off camera I am gonna hang around and do a little bit more gem fossicking at the end of this video we will tally up all the stones and the gold that we do accumulate from all this bedrock now with all that being said peace I'm out and I'll see you in the next video